So the other day I got that Air 2S, which I'm so stoked to have, but there's a reason I got it. I crashed my Mavic Air 2 and this is how I did it. I had the drone positioned right there, trying to get footage of Duncan hanging from a harness right there. And in doing so, I, I had done stuff like this before. I've uh, flown it up, I've checked the weather vane, but this time they were hanging Christmas lights. And I had kind of a, a safety zone, so to speak, between the mast up there. Can you see it? This guy. And this guy. I had obstacle avoidance on, but that doesn't do well with tiny little cables. And I knew that, so that's why I gave myself the buffer. But what I didn't know was that a rogue wake was about to come in, and none of us could have seen this coming, because we were all focusing on the drone, on Duncan up there, and then it made everything go topsy-turvy. Boom, 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 boom. So this mast up here tilted into the back of the drone, clipping it. It swung around. One of these cables gained some momentum, kind of like how uh, the, uh, one of the Apollo missions did gain momentum around the moon, swung it around, Tarzan style, swung it around again, another cable, and then did a hard hit. My really good buddy Ian caught it. The motors were still running and handed it off to me. I was able to turn off the battery because turning it sideways and all that stuff was not working. Turned off the battery. The battery actually has no nicks or scratches or any kind of physical damage. I honestly think I could use it still. But anyways, the drone was toast. The gimbal was totally broken. Um, one of the rear legs had kind of popped out a little bit. And uh, yeah, I knew it, it was done for. If I had, had if I had crashed my Mini 2, I honestly would have been more bummed, but that's a drone that I use for different types of flying. If I had crashed uh, the Mavic, well, I did crash the Mavic Air 2. It would have, it gave me the excuse to get the Air 2S, which I am super, super happy that I have. So anyways, the drone was here filming him, who's not there right now. Duncan was here, drone was here, and then the wake came, made it tilt side to side like that. And then this guy is tilting side to side. So I'm trying to make slight, slight incremental movements. And then I clip the cable on, on this boat right here. It came down, swung around some cables like Tarzan. It hit all these cables. Every time it hooked a cable, 
it gained more momentum to the grace of my good friend Ian. He was able to catch the drone from landing in the water, then handed it off to me. Motor still running, the battery still working, and I couldn't tilt it or anything like that to emergency shut off. And all the while, Duncan is up there, still hanging in his harness, wondering what the F is going on. That was basically the end of the Mavic Air 2. Which, in all honesty, I wanted to upgrade anyways. I turned off the battery. The battery is seems unscathed. I, I haven't yet tried it, um, but uh, I immediately, well, I kind of sat down and I asked myself, what could I have done differently? I took a risk flying in between the two boats, that's for sure. And I also did not give myself a large enough buffer zone. And then we have certain things we just can't predict. And that was the rogue wake. So all those factors ended up with a crash drone. So what did I do? I sat down, thought about what I could have done differently, what I learned from the situation, and then went to Best Buy and got a, a DJI Air 2S. <laughs> Fly more combo. Need those ND filters and those extra batteries. So now I have like seven batteries. All in all, it was a good learning experience. And I'm sure you all want to see the crash footage because I do have that. I just haven't had the heart to go through and edit it. But I have the SD card, so you want it. Here you go. All right, so I'm flying the Mavic Air 2. And you can see I have uh, enough room between the boats. I'm being very cautious of those cables. I have it in cinema mode or uh, tripod mode. I think with the Mavic Air 2, they have tripod mode instead of cinema mode. I have obstacle avoidance sensors on, though I know that that's not going to do much with the cables because they're so tiny. Now he's... Uh, about halfway up the mast. Um, so I fly up again and pan down, trying to get a good view of him and a good perspective of what he's doing. Now he's getting tired, so he wants to come down. So now I know my uh, time is running out. I got to get these shots. So I get in closer, do a 90 degree pan, nice, very nice, and you can see how close these boats are, but I mean this drone is only about maybe a foot. Now I'm getting pretty close to our boat, but I still have at least a good foot now a foot and a half between the boat behind me and the boat in front of me. And I want to get him in the shot, but here's where it goes wrong. And crash. So what did I learn from this? I learned that drones crash. They just do. It's st statistically, if you fly long enough, you're going to crash a drone. Whether you're a hobbyist, a professional, um, you're a hobbyist that does some professional gigs, or you do it full time, you're going to crash drones. 
So get that DJI Care Refresh, get insurance on your drones, get backup drones. Um, they're not like cameras. If I had dropped my Sony a7 III in the water, that would be a whole different story and I would have been crying for months. That would have sucked. But drones, that's kind of the name of the game. So get insurance on your drones and accept that crashes will happen. Anyways, keep on flying and keep on filming even if you crash. And if you do, get another drone or cash in on that insurance policy. Peace.